Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I think today we should talk about the search function of YouTube. And let's start with the strengths. One thing YouTube's really good at is the fat, fast indexing of videos based on uh, keywords and metadata. YouTube searches through something like 60 million videos in a fraction of a second and can return you results on that search. YouTube's also really good at uh, keeping track of how many views a video has and using this to uh, narrow down the results of the search. One of the great things is right after you watch a video, you can look to the side on the right at related videos, which are usually related by tags or by the same user and the title, which is a great way to spend more time on YouTube and watch other great videos that are of the same interest of the video you just watched. YouTube is also really good at using its users to pick out and sort uh, good videos. They have the whole rating system, we saw from Steve's lecture that, um, you know, uh, even the company itself relies heavily on users to do a lot of the work for them in picking out good videos and uh, flagging them, for instance. Oh, it's you again! <laughs> well, every time, sneak up on me. Um, I've been watching YouTube now for a while, and it's really great, but unfortunately there are some downsides. So let's talk about those bad parts. One of the only ways that users can really describe the content of a video is through tags. And as a result, YouTube relies heavily on tags to index videos and to search them. But there's no, there's nothing that guarantees that the tags are actually reflective of the content of the video uh, because they are entered by the user. Having users be such an important part of searching for videos and uh, the search mechanism, it can be bad because viewers might overlook really good videos because um, they might not be on the mainstream front or it might just be a music video as opposed to some really good art videos that someone might have made and has only a few hundred views. So, yeah. So one of the problems that we've found with uh, finding new videos on YouTube is that this often isn't done through the site's uh, search mechanism. You know, it's not done through the actual search function of the site. Rather, what you do is you watch videos and then you find new videos by the, you know, related links or by the uh, other video links that pop up as you're watching that video. One of the problems with this mechanism of, uh, or method for searching for videos on YouTube is that it can be really easy to get lost in the site and to be unable to like retrace your steps uh, of how you got to a video, which would make it then hard to find in the future. 